ATI Bulldog. Hey, I'll come on in. So, ATI Bulldog. This is a 12 gauge semi automatic bullpup shotgun by American Tactical. Uh, used to be American Tactical Imports. I see it says American Tactical now, Somerville, South Carolina. So, uh, this actually I have found to be a great shotgun. Uh, we'll just go over some of the features just really quick with you guys. It's got this kind of crossbar safety, which I like because it gives you that feeling of almost a normal like shotgun. Red is dead. Uh, trigger pull, not bad. So anyway, basically, it's got a mag fed. It's got a charging handle here. You gotta come down on both sides of the charging handle. It does have a regular bolt release, which I like. All your action's back here because it's a bolt puck. So you got your mag, pull your mag out there. Now just to show you guys, there's your bolt release right there. Uh, just to show you guys kind of what this looks like. Yes, this is a live shotgun shell, but we're going to keep this pointing in a safe direction at all times. This is our home range. So she pretty much loads just uh, pretty flawlessly, to be honest with you. The ejection is good. Bolt lock back. I have found this to cycle good with everything that we've got here. As you can see, we're going to be shooting a little bit of all these kinds of ammo today. Slugs, buckshot, uh, clay pigeon loads, low brass, high brass, doesn't matter. Uh, so it's got this adjustable cheek piece on it uh, you just kind of turn that and you can adjust this up and down uh, it's got M-Lock and Picatinny rail systems I noticed the Picatinny rail systems fit a little tight uh, but it did work I've got this mag pull angled foregrip on here and seated atop this I've got uh, the sight mark the uh, Gen 1, or it's the last generation M Pro that they had. Wish to, I don't know if cameraman can get in there to show you what I'm seeing down the site. Uh, this is what I'm seeing as you're looking down range. Personally, I think that's the, uh, the perfect site pairing for this. Uh, and that's pretty much overall length on this. It's actually 26 inches from butt to muzzle. The barrel, on this 26 inch package, which just to give you some context on that, a lot of sporting arms, like uh, shotguns, the barrel alone is 24, 26, or 28 inches. So this whole thing being 26 inches, modular package, as you just saw when I was running through and doing a bit of attack run with it, uh, boy, she she's very modular when she comes up because of the way it's designed. 18 and a half inch barrel on this. It comes shipped to you from the factory. Just triple check in, making sure she's empty. It comes from the factory with these chokes right here. So for those of you who don't know, they kind of dumb it down a little bit and put animals, like you'd hunt this, this, or this with these given chokes. But for those of you who don't know, one, and I'm assuming these guys follow United States, you know, and, and basically everybody in the world uses these choke patterns. Uh, one star, one line being a full choke, four or three lines being a uh, modified choke, and the, the widest choke here would be the five stars or five lines, which in most circles, that's going to be your cylinder choke. I usually just, I run the modified choke because it does almost everything I want it to do on it. Um, but anyway, it comes with these chokes, comes from the factory with them. You can see I've done a little bit of work here. As you can see with the lines on the end of the choke, I've done a little bit of work with this cylinder choke. I just found I got much better groups with the modified on everything that I'm using. And it also comes with this little choke wrench, which just goes down into the end of the barrel and unscrews that choke for you. Uh, I'm sure there's a bazillion tutorials on how to do that. This is not that video. Let's enough talk about the gun price point. It's gonna be right around $400, give or take with taxes and all that stuff. 
you can find them relatively ready, readily available. I've seen lately, got a friend who's looking for one. This is 2023, and uh, he found some in 20 gauge. The 12s are a little elusive, but they're out there. Uh, so that's about all I got for that. Let's shoot some more stuff. We're going to shoot, put some slugs into these. We're going to pattern these things for you so you how she does in a real world environment. Let's get to it. That's enough talking. Time to start doing some more shooting. Thanks for being here, guys, by the way. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Helps us out huge. Feel free to leave comments. Let us know if you've had one of these and you like it. Let us know if you, what your thoughts are on the bullpup platform in general. So love to hear from you. All right, let's get shooting. And I almost forgot to mention, guys, these are actually the mags that it comes shipped with. You can get spare mags off from Palmetto State or pretty much there are a lot of places. These are a five-round mag. I know they look massive. They're behemoth because they're shooting a 12-gauge shell, right? But these are five-round mags. I also have a 10-rounder in the house. I didn't bring that out today. It's just kind of long and cumbersome. I think Citadel or somebody like that also sells like a huge drum mag that will shoot 20 rounds. We're not messing with any of that. So these five round mags are actually 100% uh, legal for hunting and, and all that stuff if you're in a state that allows you to hunt with semi-automatics because it is a five round uh, magazine. So, and I believe that also makes us friendly for the uh, Yuku, YouTube al algorithms. There's a word for you or whatever. So anyway, five rounds, five round mags. Alrighty, so here we go. We're gonna show you guys how this does with a slug followed by buckshot followed by birdshot and now uh, we'll be shooting a target that's really only 20 yards away then we're going to jump it up to 40 yards after that so and i almost forgot to mention this is a three inch chamber so you're good with two and three quarter or three inch we're shooting two and three quarter for all three of these shots all right guys so here we are down range if you can see all through all the clutter there's your slog, obviously, that was the first shot. Followed up by the buckshot, which as you can see, there's a really good buckshot pattern there. And then there's like one there and two there. Should be nine 33 caliber pellets in the standard uh, buck that we were shooting there. So they're all there. And then the bird shot, nice center punch. And uh, it's a really light shot that we were using. I don't remember what we were using, but it's like probably seven and a half or eight because it's like pigeon loads. And uh, yeah, right where we wanted it. All right, let's reset for uh, 40 yards. All righty, so now we're reset. Here we go, same shot patterns, 40 yards. Let's hope the bird shot doesn't clip the GoPro, but hey, science. Alrighty, so here we are at 40 yards. So as you can see, first shot slug, second shot buckshot. There, 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 so we got those 33 caliber holes. Freaking making friends with the target. And then a really loose light pattern on that bird shot, but pretty centered. So as you can see, the ATI Bulldog, she does an okay job. That 18 and a half inch barrel with a modified choke. Uh, she, she does all right. I wouldn't go much further than 40 yards. I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll get brave and try one at uh, 100 yards at a silhouette. But I mean, I think that's pushing it for that shotgun anyway. So there's a body silhouette test. Now onto some carnage with a uh, pineapple and a bowling pin. Okay, guys, we got a big old foster slug in here again don't know how many ounces i'm just going to put it down range and uh let's see what we can do on that body silhouette down range how oh, that's actually 90 yards out there i thought it was 100 but it's not just because where we're kneeling but let's see if we can do this Okay guys, so obviously this is our hit right here. And uh, look at what we found when we came down range. I just thought you guys would like to see this. This is what a slug looks like when it hits the target. Holy Toledo, guys. Look at that. It's actually pretty dense. And it's got this like teardrop thing that it comes down to. Anyway, thought you guys enjoy seeing that. Maybe we actually caught some of that on the slow-mo, who knows. Anyway, cool beans. Alrighty guys, so we're almost point blank range here, maybe 20 feet. But uh, this is all about just having fun. Bowling pin, let's see what she does. Wow, I think that deserves one more. Dang, those slugs really spanked that thing. It's just foster slugs there, but holy cow. There's a lot of ounces of lead going down range.
Okay, here we are amidst the carnage. That is where we shot it on that little rock down there. We hit it twice, and it's all the way down here, probably 30 feet from where we originally shot it. So, just to show you guys, in case you're curious what it did, these were two like 45 ACP shots we had shot it with. This is the slug right in the biscuit. Uh, that was the first shot I took. Let's spin her around. And then this is the second one I took when she was laying on the ground. And you know the real crazy part? I don't see any exit holes on this, guys. Meaning, there's two 45 ACP slugs in there, and there's two giant stinking foster slugs in here somewhere. She's getting pretty heavy. Getting pretty heavy. Okay, guys, book shot on a pineapple. About 20 feet. Let's do this. Oh, that was pretty violent. You know what? Frig it. Let's give her another one. I got a little spinny target right behind it, but she needs this. Uh, yeah. I think we kind of evaporated that. I love it. You've got to love shotguns, guys. you got to love shotguns. Hey, let's just uh, transition right into the outro here, shall we? Get rid of those. So, the ATI Bulldog shotgun. As you guys have seen... download it to make it safe. Uh, I love this shotgun. 100% uh, thumbs up. I never bring anything to you guys in any kind of a review that is a uh, that is something new to me. I, I don't think like uh, I don't think that's fair. So me personally, whenever I'm bringing anything on the Maniac Guy channel, it's because I've been having it and shooting it for either quite some time or at least a year. And I've had a year on this thing and literally probably honestly 300 rounds in that vicinity buckshot slugs everything so there's kind of no surprises for me when i brought this out today but i just wanted to share it with you guys so thank you so much for coming out with us today sharing our adventures the cameraman says thank you i say thank you and as always you guys make this channel what it is we just rounded 3,000 subscribers which doesn't sound like a lot but to us holy cow from coming from just uh, 10 subscribers or whatever we had when we first started and uh just that there's 3,000 people out there interested enough in our content to hit that subscribe button means a ton so all you guys watching, like, subscribe, comment. We love to hear from you. And uh, thank you for coming out on these little zany backyard science adventures, whatever. So A++ for the ATI Bulldog Shotgun. This will be staying in my arsenal. And uh, love this shotgun. Until next time, you guys take care. Get out, do whatever it is that helps you get outside. Stretch your legs a little bit and breathe some fresh air. So uh, all right. See you guys later. And until next time, have a good one.